When you get to 1 Samuel 17, verse 33, David has now essentially convinced everyone to let him fight Goliath. David has convinced Saul. David, after arguing with his oldest brother, David had convinced other people to let him fight Goliath. So if you pick up in 1 Samuel 17, 33, this is where it gets so sweet. And Saul said to David, you are not able to go against the Philistine to fight with him, for you are but a youth, and he has been a man of war since his youth. But David said to Saul, your servant used to keep sheep for his father, and when there came a lion or a bear and took a lamb from the flock, I went after him and struck him and delivered it out of his mouth. And if he rose against me, I caught him by his beard and struck him and killed him. Your servant has struck down both lions and bears, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be like one of them, for he has defied the armies of the living God. Think for a second. David had the thing. What was David's thing? See, David had a supernatural ability, if you will, with a sling and a slingshot. But it's not just that he had the thing and he found his thing. David developed his thing. Because David, when no one was watching, when he wasn't going to be made a hero, had to, delivered lamb out of the mouth of lions and out of the mouths of bears. And so you all have your gifts. But the, the beauty is not necessarily in just finding your gifts, but rather developing your gifts in the silence. Develop your gifts in silence because you all do not know when you are going to have to battle Goliath. See, David had delivered sheep from the mouths of lions, so he said, if I slayed a lion, what's little old Goliath? If I slayed a bear, what's Goliath going to do? And the, and, and, the, and the trick is that, he says in verse 37, the Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will deliver me from the hand of the Philistine. 